Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am filming another vlog. Woohoo! I just uploaded my last one, my first one back. If you haven't seen it yet, it's right there. Check it out. I enjoyed it so much last week that I want to do it again. I want to get on a roll. I want to keep doing this. I love vlogging in the summer especially. So here we are. I just got out of the shower. I washed my hair. So it's in a little clip. And then I'm also doing self-tan contouring so i'm letting that sit for a little while and i actually like tanned too which is great i love the feeling of being tan if you haven't already then definitely take a moment to subscribe down below leave this video a like and comment and then if you want to follow all of my other social media down below it's linked there today is saturday no it's not yes it is what that's weird i don't know why I messed up the day just then. Anyway, today is Saturday, so this might be a weekend in my life. This might be a whole week in my life. We'll see. You guys know I'm bad about being long-winded, so hopefully it's not too long. I'm not really doing anything today. I'm still sorting through my entire life. If you watched my last vlog, you saw where I was going through everything. This stuff I've been ignoring and avoiding. Everything else is going pretty well, so I think I'm gonna work on that for a bit longer today and then I'm meeting up with some friends tonight. We're gonna have a little night on the town dinner combo. Really excited for that. My outfit for today is what I'm wearing when I just put on self tan and don't want to ruin my clothes but it's this like cropped sports bra tank top combo from Forever 21 that I thrifted but they actually still sell it so I'll still link it and then these shorts from Walmart that I got in a pinch for like $9 that have been some of my favorites. Both of these were in my last vlog, so I've been wearing them a lot. And then I'm also wearing my Air Force Ones. I actually just bought a white pair and then I painted them. And I'm actually really proud of how well they turned out. Like, I think they look great. I think I wanna run and grab a coffee. I've been trying to be good and make coffee at home more because my family has an espresso now, which has been a game changer, but I kind of just want to get out and about. Like I've been at home all day today. Hi, Pepper girl. Have you been chasing the deer? Yes, you have. What do you see? As I was coming down the driveway, she comes sprinting across the yard and I then saw that there were some deer running into the woods. All right, have a good one. Thanks, you too. Grande blonde iced shaken espresso. Then I also got the egg white and like roasted bell pepper egg bites. I love the egg bites. They're such a perfect like midday pick me up. And I also just got a notification on my phone that there's a severe thunderstorm warning. You can't see it at all, but it's starting to roll in. And I was just saying how it's so nice and sunny and it's been raining for a while. I was really hoping to eat outside, but we'll see. Also, I forgot that I still had this on and I definitely got a weird look from the barista. Oh no, okay, this side is not coming off. <gasps> Don't you love when your brother texts you asking for bleach and bandages? I can only imagine what that's for. I literally passed him coming into our neighborhood as I was leaving. And I said, okay, do you need like a real bandage or just band-aids? He said, band-aids should be fine, but a lot of them. Okay, so it's now like five-ish and I've been making great progress on my room, but it's time for me to get ready. Oh, through the ring light. Here's that eye look. Um, kind of cute, peachy, shimmery. I need to actually like figure out what I'm wearing and I need to do my hair um, because I actually blow dried it. I normally don't blow dry my hair because it goes insane. But like I said in my last vlog, Anne is away at Young Life Camp and she took her air wrap with her. How extra is that? I love it. But we've kind of been, I've been using hers and I don't have it now. So wait, why does that look like so good for the most part? I don't know why I added a mm -mm in there. These are kind of the ones I'm thinking of. I'm feeling a dress vibe. Like I said, kind of like with my makeup. Should I try to do one of those cool like outfit transitions? Oh, look at her. I ended up going a different direction than I originally planned. Still wearing this top, but I'm also wearing this kind of like mauve purple 
midi skirt you can't tell from target and then i layered a bunch of necklaces but yeah you can tell it's a midi skirt now shoes normally i would probably wear those slide heels that i also talked about in my last vlog just kind of like a little kitten heel but it's absolutely pouring right now rain means shoes that can get messed up vibe change number three because i'm ridiculous I'm going with my black leather jacket that I forgot that I owned, my favorite, and then this little shoulder bag from Shein. I got it last summer. It's actually been one of my favorites and it was like $12, so perfect. And also claw clip because once again, humidity, my hair was already not having it. This is just like a tortoise shell one. Oh, and then I also... It's kind of present. <gasps> thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. These Most are comfortable so nice. shoes in the market. Nike, write me a Rob, check. Okay. Sold like 40 pairs. 40 pairs? So it's more than that. I sell them like every day. Props to you. Okay, Rob just got a job at the new Dick Sporting Goods here in Knoxville. It's like huge. Like they have a virtual golf thing and then like a whole batting cage and it's crazy. But rock climbing wall. Rock climbing wall. Two stories. Yeah, he's a huge expert. outdoor field. Everything you could imagine. But he's our little sneaker expert. I'm so proud of him. But I've been wanting to replace my Ultra Boost, and Rob has, what are these called? Nike Invincibles. Nike Invincibles. And Rob wears these all the time. He talks about how comfy they are. And I was saying, oh, I might have to check them out, but he got me a pair. That's so nice. Huh. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you. And it's all of this stuff, or is it? Okay. I'm picking up for friends, so I don't know. Thank you. You too. Since it was raining, although it stopped now and I'm looking at blue sky, so that is hopeful. Anyway, we decided just to do Chick-fil-A because I'm sure everywhere else we'll have to get reservations and even if we could sit outside now, all the tables are going to be all wet. So we're like, let's just do like a little casual Chick-fil-A. Oh look, there's a rainbow. What a nice surprise. Did you get it? Uh, he's cool. I named him Bruce. Oh, you guys are friends now. Raccoon is still there. We scared him away and he's not looking at us right now, but he has oh, been... Oh, look at me. Oh, I can see Okay, that. his look eyes have been glowing. Me. He's just staring at... Uh, I actually feel kind of bad for him now because he's cornered, but... Poor guy. Oh, he's on the move. Nope. Oh. Nope. Good morning, everybody. I just woke up and I'm responding to some comments on my video, checking the analytics. It's actually doing really good, which I hope means that people are excited, but I really wanna hang out by the pool for a little bit. I realized even though we have a pool in our backyard, <clears throat> I never hang out by it. I kinda just wanna have like a chill day because I did not sleep well because after that raccoon scare in the parking lot, we have a squirrel or something that is in our attic and I could hear it like running around in the ceiling all night last night, which ugh, I hate, but I was freaking myself out because I was afraid that it was gonna like come through this vent because it was scratching around in that area. And since we replaced our air conditioner this spring, normally there's like an air filter there, but the one that we have now is like, has like a central filter. So that's just a hole. I, I don't, uh, do you want to see it? I don't know, probably don't. There's like an outline in the middle. It's just a hole. I don't know where it goes. The attic? Pipes? 
I don't know. So I was so afraid that there was going to be a raccoon crashing into my room in the middle of the night, which I knew wasn't possible, but you know how it is when you're like half asleep and already kind of like anxious. I don't know. I always have nighttime anxiety. So that's the start of my day. Once again, I don't really have anything to do. We literally have a pool in our backyard and I never use it. Why not read a book by the pool? Like I can do that. Like it almost seems like something I'm not allowed to do because that's too like luxurious, like too relaxing. Like it's summer, I can do that. Got my book, it's kind of a nerdy book. It's called On Task, How Our Brain Gets Things Done. And it's literally just about executive functioning, which uh, if you know about ADHD, executive dysfunction is one of the main symptoms. And executive function is basically like how your brain gets things done, like ranks things like importance and like the steps it takes. Like it starts off by talking about making a cup of coffee and like how much of a wonder it actually is that our brain can like sequence those steps to do it. I don't know, like I said, it's kind of a nerdy book and it is a lot. Um, to get through. So I also brought out just like a fun book. This is called In Five Years and I haven't started it yet but it seems really good. It's about a girl who like builds her perfect life and then wakes up randomly one day and it's five years in her future and her life is totally different. Like she's married to someone else, has a different job, lives in a different city. I'm wearing this trucker hat that I thrifted last year. I don't know if it looks cute or not. I don't know. I want to get behind the trucker hat thing but I just it says Lake Logan and has a fish on it. I'm wearing this bathing suit from Target. I've had it for a while, but I think they still sell it. Urban Outfitters Link Necklace. I wear this one when I'm like going to the pool or the beach because it has like the plating has worn off. And then just these little gold hoops from Target. Claw clip, my Ray-Bans that I wear like every day. My mom has been hanging out with me, but she just went inside to get us some kombucha. Thank you. For dinner, we're having grilled chicken and homegrown tomatoes again with fresh mozzarella. I don't know if it's caprice, caprice, caprese salad. Now that I've completely cleaned out my bathroom, I want to update the art because it's been like this for I think two years and I still like it, but it's just not really, it's just not really my style anymore. I kind of want something a bit more fun, funky, colorful. So I've got all this art laid out here and I'm gonna try out a few options. All right, I think I've decided on this arrangement. Hopefully I can translate that to the wall though. Obviously they're super crooked still, but I think it looks pretty good. I moved a few things around and I also rehung my super tacky gift shop shell chandelier. I've had this since we moved into this house when I was eight. It's so tacky, but it's so fun. And I feel like it actually kind of goes well with that art. So I'm leaving it how it is. This is real dad mode right here. Apart from the fact that I'm using thumbtacks instead of nails, but whatever. You know what, if I was smart, I would actually measure the distance between the two holes to hang it by, but I'm feeling really lazy. So I'm gonna do it the hard way apparently. Oh my gosh. I actually got it right on the first try. I am so proud of myself. So here is my completed bathroom. I took the chandelier down. It was a little too tacky. Didn't change the artwork, still need to do that. Um, but yeah, I've got my countertop all organized. I got this like riser for just the countertop. Makes it easier to reach things, but it's not tall enough to put things under. And I've got this little shelf here with towels, washcloths, more hair products, and then I need to go through this more, but this is all bath bombs and they're very old. I always had this ordeal of getting bath bombs and never wanting to use them because they were so special. And I was like, but if I use it, it'll be gone. So I just have bath bombs that have sat in a drawer for years, literally years, but you know, lush bath bombs are what? Like $5 a piece, if not more, but the piece de resistance. We've got a bubble bath going. My favorite thing to do after a long day, especially with my back pain. So I'm gonna hop in and enjoy that and probably go to bed after that, but I'll probably check in with you guys one more time. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Let's get out there and kill it. Make the most of today. I'm just kidding, not starting that. Um, today, once again, a chill day. It's very, very, odd not being in school and having a schedule to adhere to. So not only do I have to make my own, but I actually have to figure out what I'm doing. And I don't have any responsibilities right now and it's very weird and unsettling. Like I've never 
been in this stage of my life before. But anyway, the first thing that I'm doing today is going to Best Buy to either return or exchange this camera because I got it exactly eight days ago now and it's already broken. Um, basically like the lens, whenever I try to turn the camera on and it like comes out, gets stuck and goes like, da -da 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 -da, like weird. And then it does the same thing when I try to turn it off. So I've actually like powered it on and off probably 10 times, just trying to get it to work this one time. So hopefully they'll accept that return because I just got it. I'm wearing this t-shirt. It says Picasso. Where is it from? It's from PacSun. Um, it doesn't say Picasso. I mean, it does. It has some of his art on it. We actually studied this piece in one of my classes very recently. I forgot what it was called. And I'm wearing these shorts from Lululemon. I believe these are the hottie hot four inch. No. And I'm wearing the shoes Rob got me. These are so comfortable. I wore them all day yesterday. I've, um, I'm obviously wearing them today. I so far absolutely love them. They are the Nike. Hmm. They're the Nike. I don't know why I can't remember the name of these. It won't stick. Something like in insurmountable, unpassable. Tall Nike socks because I did the laundry last night and I was like, wait, I never wear these. So when I get home, we've got to fold the rest of that. Then I'm also wearing this Lake Tahoe hat that I thrifted, but it was like a week after my family got back from Lake Tahoe. So I was like, okay, I can buy it now. And then I'm just wearing these little like huggy hoops that are from Target. So long, old friend. Or should I say new friend? That was so painless. I literally just walked in, showed them the camera, said, this is what it's doing. I bought it eight days ago. Um, can I return it? And they're like, yeah, took my phone number, put my card in, brought a new one out. Here we are. So I'm glad that wasn't a big issue. I was kind of worried that they were going to be like, well, we can't actually exchange it if it has a problem, but we can send you a repair voucher or we can mail it back to Sony and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, ugh, but it worked well. Now I want to go back to the Carm, my favorite thrift store, because if you remember in my last vlog, there was this like wicker table that I really liked and I I keep thinking about it and I believe today actually is the day that it is reduced in price. One thing that I really like about this thrift store is that they reduce the price of their furniture every week or so if it doesn't sell. So I hope it hasn't sold and they still have it but I'm gonna go see if it's still there. When I walked in I thought they sold it because it was at the front of the store but it's still here. Score! I was actually so sad when I thought they didn't have it because I looked them up on, like I Googled like Rattan slash wicker glass top table and they were all like four to $600. And I was like, okay, well, this is my only option. So I'm so glad they still have it. OMG, should I get the Vera Bradley shorts? Oh, they actually are Vera Bradley. Iconic, honestly. This is getting a little ridiculous and I haven't even gone through everything yet. Clearly, it has been way too long since I've been thrifting because the sheer amount of things that I found is ridiculous. But I'm excited to try everything on because I think I actually found some good things. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be pajama pants, but I really like them and I love twall print or however you say that. These pants are a size eight and they're definitely too big, but I feel like I could maybe sew them or at least pin them, but they're this beautiful seafoam silk and I really feel like I just can't pass on them. I also found this that is obviously a little nightgown and it's really sheer, but if I could find a slip, I feel like that would actually be kind of a cute dress maybe. No way. I know this is something that I would absolutely hate in a year or two, but right now I'm so into it. This is so fun. As if I don't already have two couches in my room as we speak. How much is it though? $1.99? I mean, it's not like I was gonna buy it anyway, but <sighs> if I hadn't got that other one. Bifac gloves, so that you don't get more fingerprints on the glass while you're trying to clean it. This is so heavy. It's gotta be like leaded glass or something because it is unlike any other glass that I've ever felt. Oh wait, okay, that's cool. But I didn't know it would hold it like this. You couldn't even tell what I was talking about. I put it like on here, planning to slide it. 
but then it's stuck. Eh, just kidding. I think I'll actually put it how it's supposed to be. This is kind of lame, but since I've basically furnished an entire studio apartment at this point, I was inspired to bring out all of my kitchen stuff that I've been collecting and just see what the vibes are. Just see what the vibes are. And I can affirm the vibes are definitely here. Um, most of this stuff is from Anthropology. It's too late now, but for future reference, their summer sale is a great place to buy houseware and like serveware, kitchenware, I don't know, glassware. This bowl was like $2. And then I think these are $6 a piece. Um, well, this was a set of six. I think normally they're six dollars, so like, you know, more expensive than somewhere like Target, but for Anthro, not bad. This is thrifted. This is thrifted. This is thrifted. This is thrifted. This is from Anthropology, but it's also thrifted. Ew, there's a bug in my water. That's disgusting. These taper candles are from Amazon, and they're really cool because they have kind of like an ice crystal sort of texture. I will link them down below. The candle holders are actually from Amazon as well, but yeah, uh, she said curated. Uh, so apparently we have a home gym now. Rob was saying that he wanted to like clean out our basement. That's a perpetual storage area. Boo boo! Hi! But he was saying he wanted to clean out like our basement storage area and put a gym in. Now I thought he's just been cleaning it the past few days. I haven't even been down here, but he like got gym equipment and everything. Anne introduced me to these nut pods. I believe Emma Chamberlain uses them or has a line with them. No, because she has Chamberlain coffee. I don't know. Um, but they're like a non-dairy, non-sweetened creamer, which I really like. <laughs> Normally I just use oat milk, but I would use like actual creamer if like they weren't sweetened, but I still like the flavors like toasted marshmallow. We have, I think like five or six of these in our fridge. They've been also a game changer. Get ready for some satisfaction here we go i actually still top it off with uh oat milk a lot of times just so that there's a bit more volume this is the califia farms barista blend oat milk this is also a game changer it's much more like creamier than the regular one and um it like definitely froths better if you're making like a warm latte. Also, since I've been downstairs last, my dad has brought today's tomato haul in. Oh my gosh. I think we have, uh, I don't even know, probably like eight or nine tomato plants. And these apparently are specialty types, but look at this one. How, that's kind of gross. How is that a tomato? These are like the biggest tomatoes that I've ever seen in my life. Like this is three tomatoes. You can't tell me that's not three tomatoes. So I think we're gonna be making pasta sauces for forever, forever. <gasps> Imposter. What good is a day of thrifting without a haul? I'm gonna try to make this quick and I'm also gonna do a try on haul for you guys. Anyway, first thing that I got is actually this top that I'm wearing right now. I believe this was $7.99 and I love the color. I love this shade of green. And it's just like a nice athletic tank. Next is this skirt, which in case you can't tell, I am obsessed with zebra print. Um, I really actually, I could have done a better job framing this. Kinda not, it's actually not midi. It's more full length. Next are these pants that are the prettiest color. I'm trying to kind of like loosely style things just to get an idea of like the look that I want to go for. I paired these with this top from Zara. The top that I was wearing with the zebra skirt was also from there. I bought this back when fitting rooms were still closed and I didn't realize the sleeves were so long and I didn't realize it was so cropped but whatever. I noticed that there's definitely a theme to all the stuff that I bought today of like blue and green. Then I found this like vintage cami slip, whatever you call it, that I also have safety pinned in the back and I'm wearing it with this Princess Polly skirt that is too small. Actually, I will be putting this on my Depop most likely. So follow down below if you want to see when I finally finally list things on there. It's very like 90s, but also like 40s in a way. Going forward a decade from the 90s into the Y2K fashion. This Cold Water Creek button up, which I really like, is kind of like a going to the pool cover up sort of vibe, which is how I've styled it. This swimsuit top is from Target. These jeans are from Zara. 
And then you already know my hat. I really have liked the whole plaid thing, but I don't know how to style it, especially button ups. I feel like they always look kind of frumpy, but I do like this application. Then I found these pants, which I think are definitely supposed to be pajama pants, but I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. They're just like a toile, toil, toile, toile print. Never know how to say that, but they give me very much like French countryside vacation vibes. I also found this very kind of flouncy sheer button-up top. Uh, I honestly feel like I should be composing a minuet or a sonata when I wear this, but I kind of like it. It's very like funky and once again 90s. And then I'm wearing it with my Paloma wool pants that are my absolute favorites. I love these so much. And then also these little heels from Princess Polly. I don't know if I would actually wear this outfit, but I just, like I said, just kind of wanted to roughly style this stuff. Oh, but when I pair it with these sunglasses, I feel like I'm straight out of the 70s, like I'm in ABBA or something. Uh, actually, I feel that way when I pair anything with these sunglasses. These are the Dixie Tortoise from Vela or no, yeah, Vela. These have been my favorites all summer. This is a total wild card, but pink satin pajama set for like $5. How could I say no? And the buttons are like little daisies. How cute is that? Then I just got this basic green t-shirt. This is originally from Target. I'm wearing it with these just ivory straight leg jeans, but as for styling, maybe add a little bucket hat moment. I call this my Sherlock Holmes hat because I feel like an inspector. It's just from Topshop. I actually got it when I was in Scotland. And then the last three things are actually not clothing. I've never thrifted bedding or anything because I feel like that's just kind of weird, but uh, I checked this very thoroughly for stains or any little critters. Not that I was really worried about that because one of the reasons Carm is my favorite thrift stores is because their stuff is like really clean and usually really high quality, but it's just like a brown zebra print microfiber throw and as you know i'm very into zebra print at the moment and also brown so to find a brown zebra print blanket then i found this bag and i love also how like 80s 90s this is it has like a circle bottom so it kind of goes out like that but what i really like about it is that it is lined on the inside like a waterproof lining so i was thinking when i saw it i was like oh this would be a really good pool bag or beach bag or even like cooler on the go and um when i saw that it was lined i was like it is meant to be very kind of like tennessee haha <laughs> tennessee i wasn't planning that but also a little bit preppy but like new england preppy makes me think of princess diana my family is going to the beach next month and i think this will be a really good beach day bag to take with me and then last but definitely not least or i guess actually yeah least but um i just got this belt it's black satin which i think is cool i always find like leather and vinyl ones um so to find satin was nice and it's actually a small enough size i feel like i can always find belts that are like made to be worn with dresses and stuff but are too small to wear on my waist or ones that are too big for my waist so this one is actually like the perfect size because it just fits I think just like one eyelet and I do have one black belt but it's already like it's disintegrating. It actually fits perfectly and I like that there's not a lot of excess that I have to like tuck in or figure out something to do with. So yeah that is can you hear pep? That is all for the haul and I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this video here make it just a weekend in my life because I already did a get ready with me and a haul so I know it's probably gonna be like 30 minutes long but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video of course leave me oh my gosh look at my butt in the mirror hey definitely give this video a like and subscribe i'm so sorry if you can hear her barking still but also leave me a comment you guys know how much i love hearing from you i love responding to comments it gives me that sense of community and then also follow my other social media down below like i said i will link my depop um i've been meaning to post stuff on there forever and I haven't done it yet but I have a ton of stuff and that's part of the reason that it's taken me so long is because I have so much to go through so 
definitely follow me there. I will, I will be listing a bunch of stuff. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.